Hello everyone, good to see you again. I will show you how to draw a uterus schematic illustration in Inkscape. Life has been quite overwhelming. It took me a while to edit videos. I'll try my best to produce the content consistently. Also, I recently went to the Wageningen University to give a lecture. The audiences are so engaging. I really appreciate them. It was so fun. Without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So let's grab our polygon tool corner three corners hold control then drag we'll get this triangle or we'll rotate it two times so head will be pointing down we'll squeeze it a little bit and i'll make a copy of it all right then then path object to path so now we have need these nodes let's click on make make these nodes make selected nodes auto smooth and we get this anyway um uh, here let's put this in need some extra anchor points here so just double click on the on the on the path and then move it in and move this also adding these two anchor points so i can and drag it out let me put the color in to the uterus for now the outline is really thick at the moment let me decrease it to three 0.2 let's create the vagina let me do it again there we go now it looks more natural and let me send it to the back and again we need to go to object to path so now we have these notes that we can work on select the top two make them auto smooth and and we can very quickly turn them into this shape Okay, problem solved. We are drawing a uterus today. Okay, now we have this path and I need to make it maybe eight. Yeah, six is better. Okay, and then we need to, then we can adjust the shape. Let me put this color in for now. Okay, first let me make a copy of this and put it on the side and Click on stroke to path. Now you can edit this as a shape. Ovary. Get one. So with the ellipse tool, let me draw this. And again, object to path. So we can change the shape a little bit. Uh, let me put it down here. All right. Then the ligament. Okay. Two. Just make it uh two points wide so it's thinner stroke to path outline black that's too thick the fill would be in the example i see they use gray i will just stick with it okay and move it to the back the ligament shape we need to adjust it a little bit there are too many nodes. There you go. Now it looks better. I copy these. To reflect them vertically. Okay, and now I need to combine all of these. So let's go to path. Select these. The, select the fallopian tube and the uterus. Go to path menu. Click on union. Da -da -da. Now they're connected. It's so glad that YouTube is paying me for doing this. Because we're drawing a cross section, we need to create the inner view of the uterus. Let's give it an outline. Um, but now it's already very pale. Okay, let me flip it. Uh, so now we have two sides. There's a top side too. Okay, so the inner side of the uterus needs to be to get our triangle back and then let's make the gradient in here and remove the to remove this black outline all right and let me adjust color a little bit maybe let me see yeah this is this is actually a better color think you know then it looks like there's something inside the gaussian blur so go to filter blur live preview and you see with the 
with the Gaussian blur, blur and we can blend this shadow in the shape where's the shape okay here I oh, can't really see the triangle anymore mm, object to path right now we can see the triangle better we're creating a cavity inside of uh, the uterus is that we need a layer of the mucus tissue so what i would do is a copy and use the same color as and use the same color as the uterus and i'll move the muscle layer to the top now we create an extra layer of the mucus and i would actually change the color of let me get the color from here this and this layer will be mm. the mucus layer will be the same color as let me see zoom out take a look okay and we can create the shape down here okay i'll add a few more notes here so we can create some folds well at least that's what i saw from the example they used to being in uncomfortable situations like they, they cannot expect people to make them comfortable so i'll grab the bezier tool to draw something like this i will make it a little bit blurry uh, so the fiber can blend into the muscle let's go to filter blurs uh then blur uh we don't need too much blur in my case it will be something like 0 0.32 if you do it too much then you won't be able to see the fiber anymore go so in stroke panel and then fill let's increase the alpha alpha means the transparency of the color so i just make it like really light see now it blends into the muscle much better yeah so that's one fiber and oh I think I need to make this part a little bit thinner. All right. And we can just copy more of these fibers. I extend the cervix and that means I need to reflect this whole thing again. Muscles are done. Next thing, create a vagina. So I'll just copy this and... Okay, and I will add a linear gradient. We can just pick the gradient that we used before. And I'll add one more gradient stop. All right, now that's an overall view of the vagina. Okay, there are some folds in there. So we gotta mm, add the folds in there. Um, let's see. I'm making everything very schematic, you know, because this is more like a diagram instead of a real anatomy illustration. Actually, I will do the same thing here again. So, and then we'll go to filter blur and we can apply a little bit of blur into these folds. If you click on live review, then you'll see they are showing up. And in this case, we don't need that much maybe like 0.1 and these folds can blend into the shape better i will fade out the lower part of the vagina i'm just assuming that this will be a white background and within these gradient stops you can adjust the alpha that means the transparency so if you put one end uh completely transparent then that's rotated and you can fade part of the vagina out like that so now it looks like an end endless vagina that goes beyond above and beyond or below and beyond like we don't know where it ends <laughs> then we create the mystery all right okay uh now with the fallopian tubes we also need to add some highlight because now it looks so flat. Why it is great to save these parts on the side. Let's go to stroke style with, let me reduce it to four and turn it to 
light should be even smaller and now i will again blur it live preview and uh, the blurriness is not enough yet let's see how much we need to use maybe one But uh, now it becomes the highlight of the fallopian tube. And if I add some anchor point, I can also just change how it looks like. Now remove this point. Good. That's how we create the highlight. So I just copy the highlight and then flip it vertically. And now we can work on the ovaries. Creating an overall highlight overall volume of the of the ovary but i don't like to use gray even though in the example it is gray i like this i like this cyan color i'm going to use this color okay then i'll apply the same uh gradient here yeah i think this is a nice color combination okay i'm a little bit lazy for creating the bumps <laughs> but <laughs> i will i will still do it anyway so I just copy this and then remove remove the outline. I'm just going to apply these bumps. So because we have these nodule, if the overall shape looks very smooth, then it looks a little bit weird visually. That's why I'm messing up the oval shape a little bit. So there are some folds. See now it makes more sense when there are when there are these nodules that's piling up together. Okay, let me group all of these. So do you see that we have all these outline around the edges of all the structures? And it's really awkward that we don't have it in the on the inner layer of the uterus. So I'll just quickly make it. Let me remove the fill so we only have the outline. I'll disconnect these anchor points, these nodes. Like you can see all the details of your own illustration. Place it here. This whole layer needs to go in front of the outline. Right, we have one more outline here that we need to do. All right. Okay. That's the U-Turk's quest action. Now we need the same color as the uterus color, like this. And the outline is so thick. Let's change it to 0 0.25. That is the overall outline of everything. All right, um, that's actually it so that's how you draw uterus and if you have questions you can leave them in the comments or come to my live stream to ask me about it thank you guys for hanging out with me today i appreciate you guys and i look forward to seeing you guys again